Well, ABC7 business commentator Richard Stern joining us now. And Richard, a down day from start to finish on Wall Street. Jacqueline, you're exactly right, but you know what? That's not so terrible. We've been only up, up, and up. Uh, so far this month, which of course represents this year, all three major indices are up by at least 7.5%. Think of that. This is January. 7.5%, 7.7%, and 8.5% by the three indices that we follow on a regular basis. And what does that mean to all of us? It means that if we begin to see any change over the next three days, perhaps it'll be different, but if not, you're gonna see the best month since October of 2015. Not too bad. Let's take a look at the numbers, and they were not too bad, not too good. There you see the Dow closed at the low of the day, down 177 points, almost 7 tenths of 1%. That closing is 26,439.48 on volume of 891 million shares. The NASDAQ also sharply lower, down by one half of 1%, 40 points at 7,466.51. That on volume of 1,648,000,000 shares. And the S&P down exactly the same percentage as the Dow, down two-thirds of 1%, 19 points at 2,000. 853.53. Well, fasten your seatbelts because you're in for quite a week on Wall Street. It starts tomorrow night with the State of the Union message by President Trump. Then on Wednesday, we're going to get the final word from Janet Yellen as she departs as chair of the Federal Reserve Board and whether or not they will make any changes in interest rates whatsoever. Also, McDonald's will report earnings then. And on Wednesday, we're going to get earnings from Facebook and Microsoft and talk about fasten your seatbelts. On Thursday, we're getting re quarterly returns from Apple, Amazon, and Google. Apple, Amazon, and Google. That's a trifecta for you. And uh, we'll see just how things turn out. I'll be here Thursday to talk about it. And Thursday afternoon, we are going to have a conversation with anybody that would like to come. We're having a conversation with the Stearns. We're going to talk about economics. We're going to talk about financial planning, estate planning, the stock market. Where do we go next, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We'd love to have you join us. 906-2847. Again, 906-2847. Or you can just Google Stern Baird or go to sternbaird.com. In a limit of 12 people, we're going to do this on a weekly basis. So it should be pretty good. And you have some uh, news from the beverage industry today. Big news. Big news and hot and cold, if you will. <laughs> Keurig yep. is merging with Dr. Pepper Snapple. So oh, wow. we're going to have the hot end of the market, the cold end of the market. Maybe somebody's going to give Coca-Cola and Pepsi-Cola a run for their money. <laughs> All right. Good luck. Yeah. yeah. All right, Richard, thank you. You're very welcome.